Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is long overdue. I promised you guys I'd do this video a long time ago, but I'm doing it now. So yeah, today's video is going to be all about the Coastal Scents Hot Pot Single Shadows. So I actually picked these up a couple of months ago. I was actually trying to find dupes for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which I was not successful in doing. And I purchased 45 with my own money. Today's video is going to be a full-on review and swatch video of all 45 shades that I have. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I feel like these shadows really don't get a whole lot of hype or anyone talking about them really and I just wanted to do something really thorough and detailed and along with the review and swatches I'm also going to be doing comparison swatches with the Coastal Scent shadows to each other because there were a few that I picked up that were very similar and I just don't feel the need to recommend all of them and I'll also be doing some comparison swatches with these shadows to some Mega Geek shadows because I did find a few that were pretty similar um, maybe not necessarily dupes but pretty close but yeah in the swatch part of this video which will be at the very end after the review I will put some notes at the bottom of like the description of the shade and also what I recommend it and you know how I feel about it and stuff like that first of all I just want to talk about these palettes real quick if you don't get anything from Coastal Scents pick up these interchangeable customizable palettes these are $10 I got the 28 piece one Z palettes like a large Z palette is $20 and it only holds 27 shades this holds 28 these fit pretty much the typical size of a single eyeshadow pan they're magnetic um, you can get them with the clear lid or you can get them with the black lid where you can't see in them but I recommend the clear one obviously so you can see what you got so yeah when you get them they're just empty like these little slots right here this isn't a full palette yet and you can put anything in them so you know here is a makeup geek shadow just pops right in there it's secure they're very sturdy um, when you set them up the case isn't really like flimsy or anything like the lid sits up straight like that um, and I have traveled with these and stuff and I haven't had any accidents like no breaking and if you guys want me to do like an Instagram post or something of how I've got my coastal scent shadows laid out then let me know in the comments below and I will do that because I organized these last night and I'm I'm kind of digging digging the layout it's like the glamour index favorites palette I like that. Kind of has a ring to it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these do go on sale for $5 around like holiday sales, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, stuff like that. And also the Coastal Scent Shadows go on sale for like 98 cents quite often. When I purchased these, they were on sale for 98 cents. So yeah, that's why I got so many. So there are 372 shades and I got 45 total and they come in a variety of finishes, shimmer, matte, satin. So first off, let's talk about the shimmery eyeshadows or the satins or pearls, anything with some kind of shimmer in it. So pretty much across the board, they are absolutely amazing. Such high quality. They are pretty much all very, very smooth, very buttery, um, very, very pigmented and they do translate on the eyes very well. They're very easy to blend out and work with and they're very long wearing. I could say very, a few hundred more times. And some of the shades are a little bit powdery but you gotta think these are two dollar eyeshadows beggars can't be choosers the shimmers are very very comparable to makeup geek eyeshadows to morphe brushes honestly i'm not saying this for all of them but there are some in here where the texture of them is even a little bit better and more smooth and buttery than some of my makeup geek shadows that i have just saying like this one right here is called flesh tone this is one of my favorites i'm also wearing this as a highlighter today look at how beautiful so now <laughs> now let's talk about the mats so the mats is where the inconsistency comes in most of the mats are not very good they're very very hit and miss some of them are very powdery some of them are chalky and dry um, and then some of them are kind of pigmented when you swatch them but don't translate onto the eyes very well some of them aren't very blendable um, I will say when it comes to working with the mattes, it usually takes me a lot longer when I do incorporate these mattes into my look. But I will say yesterday I tried a different method and I actually set my eye primer with a setting powder or like a skin tone color eyeshadow and they did apply a lot better. Honestly for $2, I mean, you can't really go wrong. You're not wasting a whole lot of money if you do get a dud. There are some of them in here and I will put that in the little side notes of the swatches that are just absolutely horrible. I do not recommend it all. And then there are some that are workable and very doable for $2. 
colors. Um, this one's called Oktoberfest. Here's what that one looks like. It's like a really pretty warm orangey brown. This one's very similar to Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. I do have that one on my list today. And also, this entire look that I'm wearing today is all Coastal Scents shadows. So yeah, if you guys want to see any kind of eye tutorial, make sure you let me know in the comments below what you want to see. If you guys want to see this one, or if you see any shades that tickles your fancy in the swatches and you want to see it used in a video, then just let me know in the comments below. One thing I really appreciate about the price is that it kind of gives you some room to experiment and play around with different colors that you normally wouldn't. You just kind of want to go out of your comfort zone a little bit and just kind of, you know, just spread your wings and fly. This $2 price kind of gives you the leeway room to do that without breaking the bank. Overall, I am extremely impressed with the quality and yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. So if you guys want to see the swatches, then stay tuned.
Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorite, which ones you plan to pick up. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Follow me on my social media. All the links are below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.